Arizona Highways Magazine put a call out to amateur and professional photographers in their annual photo contest. All the pictures, of course, must be taken in Arizona, and now we get to see the winners in this month's issue. Robert Steve is here to show us some of them. Robert, thank you so much for being here, as always. Thank you for having me. Well, I have to tell you, I haven't looked at any of these. I wanted yeah. to be surprised oh, good. in this segment to see all of the winning pictures. But um, let's start with the cover, which was not part of the contest. Yeah, it's our photo issue. We do this every September, and, and one of the stories in there is about uh, the Little Colorado River. So what you're looking at here is the confluence where the Little Colorado and the Colorado meet in the Grand Canyon. So a very beautiful photo on our cover of our photo issue. It's just stunning. It is. Now, we, of course, we, throughout this contest, everybody submitted, and then you have like a grand prize. Before we see the picture, yeah. what, what were you looking at to make this the grand prize? Well, we have a few different categories. We have landscape, and we have macro, which is close-ups, and then wildlife. Uh, was part of this contest. Um, you know, it's 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 really hard to say. I mean, exactly what you're looking for, especially when you're looking at three different yeah. categories. But you know, we have a, a panel, and it's led by our photo editor, who sees hundreds of thousands of images. And so, I will tell you real quickly: when we started this years ago, my photo editors were aghast. They didn't think we could ever do a contest that would measure up to the stuff. And they've all admitted they were very wrong because there's some extremely talented people out there, wow. uh, amateurs and professionals alike, and, and we get a lot of great entries. Well, let's see the, the yeah, grand prize let's winner. Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is a, a photograph by a, a guy named Peter Koskin, a young kid. Um, and, and this is a place called the Kofa Mountains, which is uh, sort of west of Phoenix out toward Yuma. And um, you know we see we see a lot of photography from out there, but we honestly had never seen anything that good. And so um, you know, just an example of of what it takes. You know, it's rugged country. You have to go to yeah. places that aren't necessarily there's no four seasons nearby where you're gonna <laughs> right. you know go go home after the at the end of the day. And so you know, waiting for the right light and, yeah. and looking for all the different components that make a great photo. Well, I know in second place added in a little bit of wildlife. Yeah, right. This was a you know this is a f fabulous shot. I look at your face. Yeah, and my going, gosh, Whoa. that's amazing. And that's actually a, a bald eagle. Um, they're actually not, they don't have that white spot on their head until they're a few years old. And this was shot up at a place called Woods Canyon Lake up on the Mugian Rim. You know, we like sort of the cool, uh, the, the blue and the green in the background, and then the warmth of the light on the bird. And again, this, this photographer really had to scout this area. And obviously, just to catch a, a bald eagle, yeah. you have to do a lot of waiting <laughs> yeah. around. They're not, it's not like you just put a coin in a slot and all of a sudden one <laughs> flies out of the sky. So, yeah. um, but uh, very talented uh, young, young photographer. Amazing. It was funny because before we started, I was thinking, you know, I've taken some really great pictures. <laughs> I should have sent in a couple, and now I'm like, nope, nope. <laughs> so let's see the third place. Photo. Yeah, third place is uh, this was shot up by Flagstaff. Uh, this is uh, the the aspens and in fall, and of course, you know, we didn't. By the way, we didn't choose this just because we were going through these in the dead of summer, and we were just desperate for that <laughs> sort of scenery. Uh, we really like the way the leaves sort of lead you into yeah, that cool. photograph, and it's almost a muted color. It's not as bright. A lot of times with fall, the colors are so vibrant. This is more muted, and that sort of struck us as, as unique and, and beautiful. And I know we have a couple of honorable mentions that we're going to show also. Yeah, this is a, a beautiful shot here. What's, what's unique about this, you know, a lot of times photographers, when the sun goes down, they pack up their tripods and go away. And this photographer uh, waited till the sun was gone, used a long exposure to get enough light um, to make that photograph and, and get those beautiful flowers and that, that cactus. And another honorable mention also had uh, some, I guess, wildlife. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah, wow, honeybees. Uh, this was shot down by Sierra Vista, and um, again, a lot of patience. Most of the time when we see bees attached to flowers, they're literally sitting on the flower, so this photographer, you know, made it different. And then this, you know, wow, no wow, photo contest in Arizona is complete without a snake somewhere. This isn't a rattlesnake, it's a, a garter snake, but just the way the diagonal line of the, the snake's body uh, beneath the water kind of framed that photo, and just the simplicity and catching it right when the tongue's sticking out. They did an amazing job, and I'm taking away the patience is what it takes to be that, that great photographer. We can't wait to see the entire issue. Robert, we always love it when you come on. Love it. Thanks for We can't wait me. to see what next month brings. And you can see more by subscribing to Arizona Highways Magazine. Just call 1-800-543-5432 or go online to ArizonaHighways.com.